What's going on YouTube and welcome back to our Ripples 0.7 Let's Play. Let's keep going. If you haven't already hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up. Let's keep going with Jenny here. Before we leave, can I talk to you real quick? Jack, stop. What? She called me by my real name again. I don't know if she forgot or if she's doing it on purpose. <clears throat> Jenny grabs her hands before speaking. I hope everything is okay with you. I worry about you. Jenny, let me finish. I can tell there's something wrong. I can see it in your eyes. Little glimpses of it every now and then. I want you to know that if you need something, anything at all, you can talk to me. I want to help you. I know you're doing your thing at the power plant, whatever it is. But your mysterious actions, randomly showing up in Riverside, oddly demanding I stay away from the power plant over and over when I already said I have no plans on working there. You know that something like that is going to make me curious. I may or may not have been looking into why you're so adamant about it. Jenny, I told... If you say I told you not to work there one more time or anything on the subject, I'm walking away right now. I get it. Don't work there. I've been planted into my brain. I'll never forget it. You made sure of that. <sighs> Sorry for bringing it up. Can we just talk about it later? I'm really enjoying my time with you. I don't want to ruin it. Yeah, that's fine. Thanks. Oof. <laughs> don't mind me. I just want a big hug, okay? No teasing the time. Just hug me back, please. Okay. Hey, stop, you little brat. Huh? Oh, <laughs> of course it is. What the? Cersei? Fuck you, you'll never catch me! <laughs> hey! You could go around the corner of the block, but Darcy and the person chasing her are already nowhere to be seen. I can't see them anymore. Wait for me! What the hell is she doing? You could, could take the Mokia phone out and call Darcy. Do you know her? Yeah, that's Darcy. Oh no. Should we help her? So I took off running. I don't know where they went. Come on, let's walk down the street and look for her. Walk down the street, not run. Walk down the street with Jenny by your side and scan the area for any sign of Darcy. Keep walking around the block until you've completed a full circle and ended up where you started. I don't see her anywhere. I don't either. She must have gotten away, or else she'd probably hear a bunch of commotion. She's good at evading people and climbing and hiding and all that. I hope she's okay. She's fine. She's the toughest girl I know. I just don't want her to get into trouble. To be honest, I'm more, more, more worried about the guy. <laughs> Thanks for making me feel better. But I'm serious. So am I. Darcy may look small. She can kick my ass. Really? That little girl. Yeah, I'm dead serious. Seriously. Yeah. She's been training in several kinds of martial arts since she was a little girl. She teaches me now. Wow. Yeah, it's impressive. It is rather... Um... Uh... What? <laughs> it's happening! <laughs> Howdy! Darcy? Darcy, what the hell's going on? Why do you trust like that? Don't know who this Darcy darling is, but I reckon I did see a little gal in a dress running north of here. If anyone comes asking. Name's Dolly, by the way. Um, okay. Get an idiot. Hurry, it's time. Oh, right, yeah. Uh, this is Jenny. Hey, it's nice to finally meet you, Jenny. I heard so many great things. I hate to meet and run, but, uh, we gotta lean on Gabby. Oh, um, that's wonderful news. It's nice to meet you, too. Did you need a ride or anything? No, I'm good. My car's a couple blocks that way. I can walk. Sorry, Jenny. I'll call you later, okay? Okay. Get in the truck already. There's some very angry people after me. I'm coming. Bye, Jenny. Bye, Jack. Let's hang out some time, Jenny. Bye. Huh. Interesting. What have you been doing? What was that guy chasing you? Well, I've been very, very busy. Which guy are you talking about? The last one? You have more than one person after you? Heh, <laughs> maybe. 
but I don't think the last guy is going to pursue me any further. I made sure of that. Grab your forehead with a short sigh. Your hopes of Darcy staying out of trouble are futile. You should have known she wasn't going to behave when it comes to her mother. I don't even want to know, do I? Probably not. So, what's the plan? Well, I was thinking we either sneak our way into the back door or go into the front like we're a customer. Considering the police might be looking for you, maybe we shouldn't try to attract any more unwanted attention. Front door is probably the best option. Nah, these idiots are not going to go to the police. I targeted the guys that I could blackmail. How'd you get information to blackmail these guys? We've only been here for like, what, half a day? I told you I've been busy. You worry too much. That's why I need to do it myself. All right, all right. So back or front door then. Yeah, but whatever one we choose, we have to look the part. What do you mean? We wear disguise and act like we're supposed to be in the building. Darcy. What? That's a great idea. Exactly. At first, I thought you just wanted to put on disguise for the fun of it, like pretending to be a secret agent on a mission. But it's actually a better plan than just walking into the place like we are now. Of course it is. Now, I've already done all the prep work. I got everything we need is either in the truck or the van. The van? You got a van too? Yep. These are not stolen, right? No, I bought them. They paid with cash. Okay, good. That makes me curious. Like, the hell happened to these vehicles once they leave? They just sit here? Both of them are surprisingly cheaper in 1989. They're both older used vehicles. We could sell them or give them away before we leave. Cool. So we wear disguise, and then what? If my intel is correct, there's a room we need to get into and find a key card. Then we'll have access to a restricted area. And thanks to your information, I now know what room we need to find. Mr. Osborne's. Specifically, we only need like one or two minutes tops to get into the restricted area, which will hopefully lead us to my mom. We'll be in and out. This has to be done quickly. Sounds good. It's a solid plan. But it will work better if we have some kind of distraction once we're inside. I was going to improvise once we got inside. I may need your help on that. Okay. Something that will cause all the workers to focus on something besides us. Something like turning off the lights, or knocking over a plant, and getting dirt all over the floor, or... As you and Darcy are discussing the plan, you hear someone on a bicycle approaching. Who dis? Who dis? Okay, a typical pan, but at least it's smooth. Who the hell is this guy? Uh... Howdy! Hello? Hi! What y'all doing on this gorgeous day? Oh, you know, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. What about yourself? I'm on my way to meet up with a couple of hot babes. Oh, I remember him from before in the park and stuff. Oh, nice. Yeah, you know how it is. <laughs> really? <laughs> Fucking stabby Mike. Are you serious? Oh my god. Why is there always overlap in these games? These random characters from other ones. <laughs> oh my god. That's hilarious. <laughs> if you don't know who Stabby Mike is, um, that's it's your loss, unfortunately. Because, <laughs> man, that's hilarious. <laughs> if you don't know who Mike is, check out my Once in a Lifetime playthrough. <laughs> Give that a watch. It's older, uh, but I think you'll enjoy it. Mike's in that one. My name is Mike, by the way. My friends call me Stabby Mike. Stabby? Um, I'm Dolly. Donnie. Nice to meet you both. I don't know why I'm giving him an accent, but... <laughs> well, Stabby, you showed up at the perfect time. How would you like to make some quick cash? Why? You guys need some help or something? We do. We need someone like you to cause a commotion and keep the workers in that building distracted. If you're interested, we'll give you... $1,000. The headquarters buildings, huh? Yeah, I know it's a prestigious building with high-profile and influential individuals inside. We're talking about $1,000 here. No questions asked. It seems like he doesn't want to do it. Do you want more money? Okay, I'll do 2000 But that's... I'd love to do it. I don't need the money. I'd do it for free. Sounds like fun. Alright. So what's the plan? So what are we going to do? 
Front door or back door? Ooh. Um. <laughs> definitely make a joke here about front door or back door. Um. Let's do the front. Front door. Okay. The plan is. Of course, they're not going to tell us. <laughs> Fucking stabbing Mike. Well, I'm not surprised. There's always references in these caves. <laughs> Darcy goes over the plan, and you both change in your disguises. <laughs> not bad. I wonder how much Darcy paid for this outfit. Not to mention the vehicles and everything else she bought. How much money did I give her this morning? I can't remember. Her mother's safety is priceless, so I'm not going to sweat it. Jack, check this bitch out. What she got? Typical pan. <laughs> wow, that's so not like her. <laughs> Jesus. If only the bitches in 2019 could see me now. Wow. How do I look? Good enough for the mission. Like a rich brat, you look good. Uh. Hmm. Like a rich brat. You look like a rich little brat. <laughs> and that's what I'm going for, right? Yeah. You don't look you don't like my rich brat look? Nah. Whatever. We've wasted enough time. Grab that bag and let's go. I'm ready. Where's Slicey? You mean Stabby? He's already in his spot waiting for us. Oh, good. Okay. It's go time. <laughs> Fucking stabby Mike. Hello! Welcome to GNR Waters and Company Headquarters. How can I assist you today? Hi, we're here to meet with Mr. Osborne. And your name is? Mr. Donnie Cockburn, and this is Molly Cummings. <laughs> of course it is. I don't see your names here. Do you have an appointment? Yes, we do. Oh, come all this way to this stupid town to make an investment in this company. You don't even hold our appointment? Ridiculous. Yeah, maybe we should take our money elsewhere. No, that's unnecessary. Please give me a moment and we'll squeeze you in somewhere. It better not be a long wait. I don't have all day. I'll get you in as soon as possible. Give me one moment, please. Don't we need to get into Mr. Osborne's office? Yes, that's why we're asking for him. I need to confirm he isn't here. If my intel is correct, he shouldn't be in the office right now. Ah, makes sense. Am I being too mean to this woman? No, you're doing a good job. She probably hates you right now. But you're playing the part perfectly. Mr. Cockburn? Yeah. Mr. Osborne's out of the office on break at the moment. If you'd like to take a seat and wait for him to return, you'll be the first to see him. Fine. I shouldn't, but I'll wait. Thank you for your cooperation. While you wait, we have coffee and magazines on the table. What kind of coffee is it? Uh, there's a guy in the parking lot jumping on the cars and dancing on them. What? Yeah, he's on that red car right now. <laughs> oh my god. Freaking Mike. Oh no, he's smashing him! Mike, why? Oh my god. I <laughs> oh no, no, no! Oh! Well, there's a stabbing. <laughs> He's pissing on the foot. <laughs> uh, that's awesome. That's my car! <laughs> We need to call the cops. I already did. What kind of person does that? Is he pissing on my car? What the fuck? This world's going to shit, I tell ya. Psst. That's our cue. Stabby Mike's illegal but amazing theatrics have successfully diverted the attention of the office workers, allowing you and Darcy to carry on with your mission without interruption. So one of those offices in the back. Right here. You start to search Mr. Osborne's office. But Darcy goes straight for the wooden shelf and reaches behind a book. Got it. How did you know exactly where that was? Let me guess. If my intel is correct, the key card is on the shelf behind a book. That's right. Who gave you this intel? There's no time. I'll tell you everything later. Come on. You know the plan. In and out. Now help me find this restricted area door. I know. I'm coming. Here it is. Perfect. Here. Unlock the door. I'll be right back. Darcy, where are you going? This key card works. Darcy runs off, but returns no more than 10 seconds later with a duffel bag full of supplies. Did you not listen to anything I said when I went over the plan? I did, but I forgot that part. 
It's fine. Just follow my lead. Ready? Ready. I'm, I gotta say one thing too. I am very, very happy that there's music and a lot, there's a lot of sound effects in this. And I find that's something that really lacks from a lot of visual novels, sound effects. Everybody has music, unless you're intertwined. <laughs> then there's no music. But music doesn't really matter. Like, sure, it's kind of sets the tone, whatever, but like, none of them have sound effects. This one has tons of beeping and booping and phone noises and knocking and it's like everything. It adds so much more to add a little sound effect for things. Well, it's oh, just, ah, beautiful. The unrestricted area door lies a staircase that ascends beneath the building. What's this? I don't know. Storage room or boiler room or something? What's important is this door. I've seen this door before. Took me into the power plant. And that's where we're heading. You insert a key card. Once again, the door unlocks and grants you passage to the next area. And this is a secret passage to a power plant that only executives like Mr. Osborne and Mr. Carey have access to. Interesting. Can't believe this goes all the way to the power plant. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not walking all that way in these heels. I can barely walk in these things. Give me a pick. This is a good spot to change. Hurry, we need to be quick. Gotcha. Yeah, now you can now you look at a place. You gotta change it to something. Incredible speed, you and Darcy change outfits and equip the tools needed for the next area. Ready? Yep. You just leave the bags in there. Together, the two of you tread cautiously down the dark and desolate path, searching for anything that could lead you to Dirty's missing mom. The path is long and narrow and goes on and on for what feels like forever. Oh god. Not a door or person around, just rails, pipes, and flickering lights. Finally, you come to a door with several warnings and a cautionary red light. This has got to be it. You've seen this door earlier. This has to be a different one. There are no other past the power plant. It only leads here. Then this could be a second way into whatever's on the other side of this door. Yeah, it could lead to the same place. Okay. We're going to sneak in there. Be as quiet as possible once we're inside. We need to assess the situation before we make any rash decisions. If our presence is detected, we go to plan B. Got it? Got it. Abruptly, a deafening boom echoes from the other side of the door. What the fuck was that? Shit. Let's go. Once inside, you and Darcy are shocked by what you see. Um, hello? Oh, Jesus. Um, oh, well, there's mom. What in the shit? So this is why I love this game. <laughs> These really long animations like this with all the sound and music and everything. It's just so good. Who are these guys? Is that his dad? Pause it. Shit, still not like in the Kronos capsule to initiate. Let's um raise the limiter. Try one more time. No, please stop. No more. I doubt it's gonna work this time. She isn't gonna end up dead like all the others. We want that big payday from Carrie. We need to keep trying. I think we're getting close. The organ trade is good enough money for me. Let's have her fun with her. Cut her up and call it a day. Let's give it one last go, and then we can have her fun. Hopefully it doesn't kill her. I like hearing them scream when I'm pounding them from behind. Oh god, dude, gross. <laughs> Stop! Let me go! Please, I'll do anything! Hit the lever, Joey. Oh fuck no! Plan B! Plan B! <laughs> and of course that is plan B. And that is where we're gonna leave it off for today. What a good way to end the episode. That's fucked. <laughs> Wow. Okay. Um, I was I have to say I wasn't wasn't expecting it to be right there when we went through the door. I was expecting maybe some stealthy stuff first, but wow. <laughs> so next episode we'll uh, 
see if we can rescue her mom. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hit that thumbs up. Hit that subscribe. I'll catch you all in the next one.